my opinion, this isn't a medical emergency. It is for Lizzie. Well, look, the operation may be suitable for her, but it doesn't get away from the fact we don't have... So what do I tell my patient? Mr. Hope, they didn't go for it, did they? Let's talk through the procedure, shall we? I told you Mr. Hope would come through. I don't know how to thank you. Right. This operation is not without risks. I'm up for it if you are. I just want you to be absolutely sure this is what you want before we proceed any further. Never been sure of anything. Let me get in touch with your parents. No, not until it's over. Um, is that wise, Lizzie? It's what I want. It's really not advisable to make this procedure any more stressful than it already is. The way I see it, there's only one person who can run this race. Maybe two. <laughs> I stand by my decision regarding my patient. Come what may. Um, another four proline, please. Questions? What kind of questions? You let me worry about them. You just lie there and get yourself better. And my folks? They're on their way. We did it, didn't we? We did. Our first success story. Congratulations, Mr. Hope, from all of us. Well, it's uh, Miss Faulkner you need to congratulate. Sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to leave, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to intubate her. Get the recess trolley here, please. Quickly, please. Blind Okay. Charge to 300. That's it. Patient's pupils are fixed and dilated. She's gone, Elliot. Time of death, 10 p.m.